Have you ever felt trapped in a cycle you can't break? That was me, consumed by an addiction that was slowly ruining my life. As a kid, I was just like anyone else, full of dreams and aspirations. But as I stumbled into my teenage years, I discovered something that first seemed innocent, a mere curiosity, pornography. It started off as a pastime, an occasional indulgence, but as the years rolled on, it gradually morphed into something much more sinister, an addiction. By the time I stepped into college, hours of my day were being swallowed up by this compulsion. It became a leech, sapping my time, energy and focus. The consequences were far-reaching and severe. My academic performance took a nosedive. Once a promising student, I was now barely scraping by each semester. My social life too was in shambles. I was constantly fatigued, unmotivated and distant. Friends drifted away, unable to understand the transformation they were witnessing. My relationships suffered the most. I lost my girlfriend because I was emotionally unavailable and perpetually irritable. The person she fell in love with was no longer there. Instead, she found a shell, a shadow of my former self, consumed by an addiction I could not control. My mental health was a casualty too. The cycle of indulgence and regret, the constant guilt and shame started eating into my sanity. I was isolating myself, trapped in my own world of shame and regret. The addiction was not just consuming my time, it was consuming me. One night after another long, empty binge session, I found myself spiraling into a dark place. I was desperate, lost and alone. I knew I needed help, but I didn't know where to start. I was spiraling into a dark place, desperate for a way out. It was during one of these dark nights that I stumbled upon the Motivate HQ community and the NoFap Challenge. I'll be honest, at first I was skeptical. Could abstaining from pornography and masturbation really have such profound effects? Could this be the solution to the dark cloud that had taken over my life? But desperate times called for desperate measures and I was certainly in a desperate place. I decided to take the plunge and participate in the NoFap Challenge. It was a commitment to myself, a promise that I was ready to make a change, no matter how difficult the journey might be. It was a step towards reclaiming my life, my dreams and my aspirations. As I delved deeper into the Motivate HQ community, I discovered a world of individuals who had been in my shoes. They had faced the same struggles, battled the same demons and emerged victorious. Their stories were raw, honest and incredibly inspiring. Reading these stories, I felt a spark ignite within me. It was a spark of possibility, a spark of change. These individuals had faced their addiction head on and come out on the other side. If they could do it, why couldn't I? Their journey wasn't easy and neither would mine be. But they had proven that it was possible. They had shown that with determination, perseverance and the right support, one could overcome even the most daunting of obstacles. Their victories became my motivation, their strength became my inspiration and their stories became my roadmap. I was ready to embark on my own journey towards recovery. For the first time in a long time, I felt a glimmer of hope. The journey was far from easy. The withdrawal symptoms were intense, but I was determined to reclaim my life. Imagine waking up to a day without the one thing that had consumed you for years. It was like losing a part of myself, a part that had been feeding on my energy, my time and my happiness. The first few days were a blur of restlessness and discomfort. My body was used to the constant dopamine hits and suddenly it was like someone had pulled the plug. I felt like a puppet with its strings cut off, flailing, directionless. My mind craved the familiar rush, the easy escape, but I knew I had to resist to break the cycle. With each passing day, the struggle became a little more bearable. I found solace in the Motivate HQ community, a beacon of hope in the stormy sea of my withdrawal. There were others like me, battling the same demons, sharing their stories, their victories, their setbacks. It was a reminder that I was not alone, that I was part of something bigger. Sleepless nights turned into restless mornings, each day a battle against my own mind. But with each victory, no matter how small, I felt a sense of accomplishment. I was fighting back, reclaiming the control that I had lost. The withdrawal symptoms were intense, yes, but they were also a sign that I was healing that I was on the right path. There were times when I faltered, when the temptation was too strong. But each time I reminded myself of why I started this journey, of the life I was leaving behind and the life I was striving for. 
I reminded myself of the success stories I had read, of the transformations that were possible. Despite the hurdles, the setbacks, the moments of weakness, I decided to stick with it. I was determined to see this journey through, to witness the transformation that awaited at the end. It was not easy, far from it, but I was ready to fight, ready to reclaim my life, ready to experience the change that was just around the corner. Fueled by the success stories I had read, I decided to stick with it. As the weeks turned into months, I began to notice some changes. I was more focused, more driven, and most importantly, I felt alive. It's hard to explain the feeling, but I'll try. Imagine waking up every morning, not groggy or exhausted, but bursting with energy, energy that wasn't there before. It was like I had tapped into a power source that had been lying dormant within me. And let me tell you, it felt incredible. With this newfound energy, I was able to accomplish so much more. My attention span increased, allowing me to concentrate on my studies for longer periods. I found myself actually enjoying learning again, something I hadn't experienced in years. My grades began to improve and I started to excel in my classes. But the transformation wasn't just academic, it was personal too. I picked up new hobbies like reading and playing the guitar. These activities gave me a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment that I had been missing. I also started exercising regularly. The physical activity not only helped me to get in shape, but also to release pent-up energy and stress. The mental clarity I gained was astounding. It was as if a fog had been lifted from my mind, allowing me to see things more clearly. I was able to make decisions more confidently and handle stress more effectively. My relationships improved as well. I became more open and communicative, leading to stronger connections with my friends and family. I was no longer the distant, irritable person I once was. In short, I was becoming the person I always wanted to be. The person I knew I could be. And it felt amazing. NoFap didn't just help me break free from my addiction. It saved my life. It led me down a path of self-discovery and growth, a path that I'm still walking today. And while the journey isn't always easy, I can honestly say it's been worth every single step. NoFap didn't just help me break free from my addiction, it saved my life. Today I stand before you not as the person I was, but as the person I've become. A person who faced his demons, who fought tooth and nail against an addiction that had consumed his life. I've walked through the fire and emerged, not unscathed, but stronger and more resilient. It wasn't easy, and there were times when I wanted to give in to surrender to the familiar comfort of my old habits. But each time I remembered the stories I'd read, the people who had walked this path before me and I found the strength to press on. The NoFap Challenge and the Motivate HQ community were my lifelines, offering support, encouragement, and most importantly, hope. They gave me the tools to reclaim control of my life, to break free from the shackles of my addiction. Today I'm not just surviving, I'm thriving. I've walked this path and I can tell you it's worth the fight. NoFap didn't just change my life, it saved it.